With augmented reality, we are so close to accessing another dimension, another layer onto our reality to enhance our lives. The only true life-changing innovation in 13 years take us from looking down to looking up, the first time since the smartphone. Today, we're we'll taking a closer look at what Oculus have up the sleeve for their reveal of their own augmented reality glasses. In terms of other devices available, or soon to be available, we have two types. Light field displays and micro LED displays. An example of a light field display would be HoloLens and Magic Leap, where the image is projected onto your retina, like imagine in a cinema, the image is projected onto the screen, so instead it's projected onto your retina. While these seem most promising, the form factor is more of a headset than a pair of glasses, and so I really don't believe this is the route Oculus will take. The other type of display I want to talk about is a micro LED display. Xiaomi showcased a concept device where the light is dispersed through the lens, creating the image. The form factor is almost nearly unnoticeable. The only thing missing from these glasses is true augmentation. So for example, a moving overlay over the real world and more colors than green, that would be a truly revolutionary product. It seems like some of these smaller companies coming out are releasing semi-AR glasses that just project information, say like 10 feet away, but a, at a fixed plane, no real 3D software is being used there. So all Facebook would have to do is add their tracking software to provide the true augmentation and to also figure out a way to provide more luminous colors other than green. I believe Intel released a similar product and they just decided to throw it in the bin basically. And now suddenly you can see how close we really are. The ingredients are right in front of us. All it needs is the right company to mix them together. And personally, I believe Facebook is the only company with the right software, data, budget, and really the determination to make this happen. To expand on the potential of AR, you can see why Facebook are pushing for this to be the next platform. You could have a TV, no matter where you are, replace the one in your living room. Three different people could watch three different programs on the same wall. You could imagine a world where you never ever get lost, where everyone has been everywhere and everything's mapped. I mean, to some people's disgust, that's not the best thing, but it's an interesting concept. You can imagine dashboards and cars completely changed to suit AR. You could imagine people changing their entire signage on the front of the building to represent augmented reality be more like barcodes just to display their new holographic imagery the future is so close i can't tell you how excited i am to finally experience this type of technology i've sat at work before and been bored out of my head just imagining what it would like to have these sort of glasses to watch netflix when nobody else knows or or to have avatars follow you around throughout the day characters that you've decided to use for your entertainment purposes or even an ai assistant that you could even see potential is literally unlimited and all it needs is your imagination to decide what it could be so now we know what's possible what's to come first we will look at what facebook showed us last year this is a clear indicator of what they want you can see the overlay on top of everyday objects three-dimensional things get smaller the further away they are it's using proper tracking simple yet effective assistance throughout the day you can imagine a world where we no longer have to look down at our phones we could look up in confidence always knowing the next objective always having another layer of comfort in our environment never lose your keys again or to find your way around a foreign city augmented reality can provide us the freedom to do and know without taking us away from reality adding to our existing one from everything we have talked about we can conclude that facebook will release a similar product to their ray-bans but with additional features such as a micro led display the only issue is processing power and in my opinion this will be achieved in three ways some sort of processing unit which i think is the worst of the three the second would be using your smartphone as a processing unit and thirdly a very simplistic device with very simple ar features to allow the glasses to be a closed ecosystem but i also think that's an likely due to the power constraints and would severely limit the potential. I'm most hopeful for some sort of hybrid device, so a mix between the second and the third. This would allow you to use the glasses without your phone, but to also increase the potential of the glasses with the phone, sort of like the Oculus and a PC. And while AR will be the next evolution of digital communication in the next five years, unfortunately this will be the golden era for AR. The dystopian, overstimulated, over-advertised version follows but that's a topic for another video. Please, if you like the video, like and subscribe.
and check out some other videos here. Thank you. Bye-bye.